Dr. Noel here. One of the most common questions that I get is, how do I make my smoothies in the morning? Because I have them every morning and I've had them for more than 15 years. This Vitamix right here, I've owned more than 15 years and it's been through a lot. So I thought I'd come in here and show you how it's done. And then I walked in and I saw X over here eating a fantastic snack over here. What Can you tell us what you got over there? I had recently some Teddy Grahams honey flavored and mm. a tropical tie-dye fruit roll-up. Yes. That sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> the smoothie might be my better option between the two of these. Well, when, when I see that, I usually tell people, like earlier, right, I was offered a brownie. And what I like to say, and especially around my kids, that is I'll tell them, oh, you can have it. It's not good for me, but you can go ahead and have it. It's actually really bad for me. I don't want to have cancer, but you can eat that cancer if you'd like to have it. <laughs> so um, I, people who know me kind of hear those things all the time and they kind of think, oh, well, not me. It's not going to happen to me, but anyway. Of course not. Of course not, right? <laughs> um, but let me show you i'll take my very old vitamix blender here and show you how i make it because i make this every day at least once a day sometimes two or three of my meals are going to be smoothies i could literally live on smoothies i could live on a smoothie diet uh, because they taste good they, they taste like something that might be sweet and terrible for you but it tastes great, <laughs> not that one, <laughs> keep your cancer. <laughs> um, but it tastes really, really good and it's healthy. And so my son and I, he's 10 year old son, um, we have one every single day. So I put a banana in there and you know, the quantities can vary depending on how much you wanna make. You can obviously use more or less of the ingredients. I never measure anything. I just kind of throw things in and blend them. Now, the more liquid you have, obviously the thinner, the more liquidy or viscous your, um, your drink is gonna be. Um, and the more, the less liquid you have in there, the, the thicker it's gonna be. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> All right. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. All right, so put some mango in there. And then I, I put some green. So in here I've got some kale. And there's actually some blueberries mixed in, in there because they were in the same package when I brought, in, brought them in. So kale and blueberries. So as soon as you put something green in there, it's going to make the smoothie look green. Uh, so the key is going to be uh, the protein. The protein you use make a really big difference. So the favorite in our house is going to be the whey protein. This is the one. We go through so much of this one because it gives us a, a really good chocolatey but smooth taste. This is number one in our house. Now, the vegan protein is, is good as well, but it has more of a like a mocha taste to me anyway. I feel like it's more mocha-ish, a little bit more grainy, whereas the whey is, is really smooth um, in terms of texture. And then there's vanilla as well. And my ultimate favorite not necessarily the house favorite, but my favorite is the OptiCleanse GHI because this is a detoxing, cleansing, reduced inflammation um, kind of um, pr protein. But it's not just protein. This is all vegan. Um, it's got vitamins in there and nutrients to help your liver get rid of toxins. And so I love to have this on a regular basis. So it comes in, in these pouches. There's 10 of these pouches in each box. Um, and I have those almost once, at least once a day, sometimes not twice. Um, but in the morning I make a smoothie and I share with my son so I have the chocolate one, which tastes good. My son loves peanut butter chocolate, so another thing you can do if you want to have more of a peanut butter taste is you can put a, a scoop of peanut butter in there and that'll give it more of a, a, a thicker consistency. If you like your smoothie kind of creamy, um, this is what you want to do, you can put peanut butter. Now, if, um, actually what I like even better than peanut butter is avocado. You can even freeze the avocados. Um, you can buy them frozen as well, uh, or you can put them in there fresh, but that'll make it thick and creamy. I feel like when I have a smoothie, I want to feel like I'm having a meal, because that is my meal. So I like for it to be thick and filling. And so, this is my most common combination, what I just showed you. 
And again, typically, most commonly in our house is we have the whey protein, but I'm gonna put in there this uh, OptiCleanse GHI, because I didn't have one of those today and I feel like it'd be a good thing to add. This one's a chocolate flavor. The, uh, we do have them in vanilla and chai. Chai is the one least purchased, so we don't carry it. But I actually really like the chai. It's just that some people just really don't like it. Um, and um, other people like me really like it. So if you want variety, you can go with chai. And then we blend it. Now the type of blender does matter. There's a lot of good blenders out there. Um, if you don't want your smoothie to be really chunky, especially if kids are gonna drink it, they usually like it smooth and creamy. So the Vitamix is really great, but there's other good ones. Uh, we have a bullet here in the office, which is small, um, and it does a really good job too. So let's turn it on and see what happens. see how it turns out but it's that quick so you can see that uh, I didn't blend it quite as long as I normally would but see how thick it turns out um, if you don't like thick creamy smoothies I mean don't put the peanut butter in there uh, but I did and I'm gonna enjoy it so have a great day